Hello Aquarius. Welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K and this is the week of September 23rd to the 30th of 2019. Welcome if you are new. Welcome back to those of you who have been with me from the very beginning. You have come to me for month to month readings and to those of you who have donated. Thank you so so very much. I'm starting out with the Romance Angel deck by Doreen Virtue, and I'm going to be doing my own personal Celtic spread. All right, so we have an Aries who's being guided to love themselves first, to understand that it's your self-respect, what you work on day to day, how you raise your chin high, even in the midst of difficulty this week, that's going to make you very romantically attractive to another. In your thoughts position, spirit is advising you to go ahead and make a romantic gesture as you are strong now and you have the energies of great self-respect because of whatever you have gone through, I keep hearing. Now, in your foundation, we have passion, this desire to allow your heart and soul to sing with joy, recognizing in the recent past that you do deserve love in your life that you truly are lovable. And this realization is making whichever Aquarius I'm reading for feel more self-respect. And it's making you come off as very attractive this week, Aquarius, whichever Aquarius I'm reading for during this general read. So in, I'll say around uh, the 25th to the 28th, we do have uh, the flirt energies. Good. So it's a good week to just make a romantic gesture. Give in to that passionate energy. Flirt and extend your lighthearted energy to others this week. You have control over deciding. Is it safe to love? Is it safe now to open my heart and to give and receive the highest energy of all, which is love, which is patience and kindness? So... In the spirit's assistance position, spirit is helping you through any situations or circumstance or concerns you may have this week, Aquarius, when it comes to the area of finance and career. Financial issues or concerns may be a factor in making a decision to move forward with another this week. So in your hopes and fears position, I feel like there's a lot of hope here that you're going to be able to release and heal all that has transpired in your past so that you can now move forward and enjoy more love in your present. So in the outcome position, by the end of the week going into the weekend, we have this could be the one. Uh, have I met the partner that I've been seeking or is this the right one? I am praying to forgive, release, and heal all that has happened in the past so that I can now open up to love. So this is in the thoughts of whichever Aquarius I'm reading for this week. And the advice here in a three-card summary to my left is to take some time to disconnect, to retreat, uh, maybe to get together and go on a date night if you are dating someone. Uh, there could be an Aquarius that's thinking about reconciling with another. And Spirit is saying, you know, uh, true love is worth waiting for. Give something some time for that clarity to come your way this week. So we do have an Aquarius who's thinking about a past life connection, someone tied to their past. They're trying to maybe slow things down a little bit. Uh, and the advice here is to just let everything unfold as it will. Remain playful, but pay attention to the signs that are cautioning you. Okay, so we have a situation involving children. We have a situation involving money and career for this Aquarius during this general reading. The advice here is to honestly discuss your feelings, either with your children or with regards to someone tied to your past. Uh, there is a need here to forgive someone so that you can travel and start to get a clearer perspective on the next chapter of your life. So I feel like there is a, an Aquarius here who's trying to make a decision. They feel like they want to make one fairly soon. But there's something that is 
blocking their energy. Okay, something or someone that needs to be cleared from your energy. And spirit saying, if you're still waiting on something, maybe an ex, someone else, just trust and have faith that through your prayers and the steps you're being guided to take when it comes to expressing your love to others this week, that you could recognize that your love life is indeed rising to a higher level. Okay, so get to know someone slowly. Trust in prayer. And enjoy a, a magnetic attraction this week if you so choose. For I think that's going to help whatever this area of healing is about for this Aquarius that I'm reading for. Okay. So for clarification, I'm going to be bringing in the Osha Zen Tarot. Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, whichever Aquarius energy I'm reading for. Sun, Moon, or Rising, male or female. Okay. Good. So this Aquarius has mastered the journey of how can I love myself? How can I trust in my decisions? How can I confidently make a decision? For I want to open up my heart and make a romantic gesture, but I'm unsure. There's inner chaos and conflict in my thoughts as I compare one circumstance, situation, or person with and to another. Maybe someone with the Five of Swords is thinking of someone else who has air in their chart, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. Now, in the foundation, we do have this uh, Knight of Swords energies, wanting to go quickly towards another, wanting to give into that passionate energy, but you're giving off a little bit of this exterior, right? You need to take off this garb. You need to lay down the sword of protect and defend this week, Aquarius. In the past, you may have had some form of illusion or confusion with the judgment energies. And now Spirit's helping you to make the highest, best decision moving forward. Recognizing that you have mastered some form of experience in your life. And now from around the 25th to the 28th or 9th, Spirit's advising you to free yourself from a path that was long and difficult, from a path that maybe caused you a lot of pain because you're at the Ten of Swords. You're at the end. One plus zero is one. It's all about you now and what you learned, how you are stronger, what you want to create moving forward. So Spirit's advice is to flirt this week. Know that you have control over opening your heart. Give and receive patience and kindness and love with and to others this week. You have the ability with the Eight of Swords energies to free yourself from some form of entrapment, feeling stuck or trapped. So a path that was difficult, you may come to realize is ending this week. And Spirit's giving you this happily ever ener ever after energy of the Ten of Cups, okay? This is about finding serenity and peace, coming to a peaceful resolution, um, happy family energy, as you think about making changes in the area of finance and career. So in the hopes and fears position, it's about praying to spirit in hopes that you can release and heal what no longer serves you, that you can travel or move into a new direction. That some form of passionate communication is going to free you from a difficult lesson. And in the outcome position, finding the truth about which partner is the right one for me. Recognizing the devil energies. Instead of being one in the flock with the others, stepping out courageously to really get clear with yourself about who is the one. I've mastered the journey of confusion and pain. And now I have the courage and the strength to plant new seeds, to ground myself in the midst of chaos. As I put one foot in front of the other, maybe regarding someone who has earth in their chart with the two of pentacles energies, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, you're going to be able to step out of isolation, sadness, regret, worry, fear, heartache. 
You're going to be able to feel the energies of these tears cleansing your soul. Why? Because you're going to receive a lot of attention and recognition and step into the path, a path of greater success. And that's one. So there could be a passionate connection. And now you're recognizing that you can manifest a new journey, a new direction, a new connection, a new chapter. So it's a very karmic time. And I feel spirit really wants to help you with the major arcana, the wheel of fortune, to allow fortune to turn in your favor. Wow. Okay, so should any of these messages resonated for you and you need more information, feel free to write me at my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com for a personal reading. I offer a one month, six month, one month, three month, six month, and yearly reading, um, and my price list will be in the box below. I'm also still offering what is now the fall special, which is a 15 minute video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give it a try. So Aquarius, I'm closing with one card from the Heal Yourself deck by Ina Segal, representing the energies for this week. Yes, so it's not a time to blame others or outside influences. Instead, it is a time to create change. We talked about entrapment, sometimes feeling like people come and go on our path and we have no control. But spirit with these energies is getting this person to recognize that she can walk others to the door and decide who gets to come into your path and who does not. Where your boundaries are. You have the procrastination energies. Feeling like there is some form of urgency this week, but needing to just face your fears. To stand strong in your conviction with others. To recognize as you speak your truth that you can come out of feeling stuck or trapped. Speaking your truth, by the way, with an open heart. So you may have some dreams with the dream card this week that is that are going to bring you clues to emotional challenges in your life. Uh, we do have on the bottom of the deck, ego versus humility. Worried again about showing people your true self. And that's how you're going to find out if someone is the one. If you can recognize what has happened in the past, give in to a passionate connection without judging a person, place, or circumstance. This is an inner change. And as you open up and show your true self to another, you could very well create a new path of a solid foundation, I feel, with uh, a partnership or in a partnership. Now, for some of you, yeah, you may be thinking, I mean, this is the devil energies, about unhealthy energies within yourself or another or how things are being handled in some way. But again, Spirit's saying don't blame others, but instead create the change you want to see this week. For spirit wants to give you the Ten of Cups energies of peace and serenity, the energies of a happily ever after, the ability to forgive, release, and heal the past so you can travel and move into a new direction whereby spirit's trying to guide you towards the one. All right, so if you need more information, again, I can tell you who the one is. I can tell you who is not. I can tell you uh, what you've mastered in this path or how to help you uh, make some decisions that you may be in conflict of because maybe you're even fighting yourself about a passionate connection. So again, just email me for a personal reading at josiek42 at gmail.com. Thank you so very much for stopping by. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so very much to those of you who have donated. Take care.